Are you trying to run a Minecraft server locally hosted in your computer that your friends could join for free? That you don't have to pay for this server, you don't have to pay anybody to host this server. Well, you have come to the right place. I'm going to teach you how to make a free server for Minecraft 1.19.3 hosted on your own computer. But before we do so, I do have to let you know that this server is locally hosted and you're going to be using your IP address, meaning that I only recommend you invite your closest friends to the server because you don't want to be giving out your local address to random people. But if you're trying to make a server that doesn't run on your own computer, that is always up 24-7 and that that could be joined by anybody you choose, Apex Hosting is here for you. And I'm not recommending Apex Hosting just because they are the sponsor of this video, but because I run my own server with them. I have tried a lot of online hosting platforms and Apex Hosting is the only one that I have really liked. Because first of all, you have 24 seven servers, you have customer service and you can make bedrock, Java, modded servers. And something that is also really cool is that you could actually afford it. If you use the first link in the description, you could get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting. That is if you wanna create a server that is always open and that your friends could join regardless if your computer is on or not. But anyways, those who came here to learn how to make a free Minecraft server hosted on your computer, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay guys, so step number one to make a Minecraft server in Minecraft 1.19.3. So click the second link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to actually make a server for Minecraft Java. In this case, we're going to be making a server for 1.19.3, but in here you can learn how to make a server for any version. Now feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but for those of you that just wanna follow along the video, just come to this link and click where it says download server jar, this little icon right there, that little button right there, and that is going to redirect you to the official Minecraft website. Now, this is a totally safe website. This is the official Minecraft.net website. And in here, we're going to click download server 1.19.3.jar. As you can see, we have it right here. As soon as you click that file, the download is going to start automatically. Now, in my case, it always asks me where I want to save it. But for you, it's just going to download straight away. Now, once you have that file, go ahead and drop it into the desktop. That's what I'm going to do. Let me just make this a little bit smaller. And let's drop this file into the desktop. Now you should have a server file, right? You should have a file named server. I'm going to go ahead and change the name of this file to server 1.19.3, just so you guys don't get confused. But your file should be named server. Feel free to change the name if you want, but you don't have to. Now that we have the jar file, the next step is to actually install or run the server. Okay guys, but before we install the server, we have to make sure that we have this little cop file in here, right? You see this little cop icon? You have to have that cop in there or if not this is not gonna work also you need to have the newest java because if not this might not work either so i want you guys to install the server as smooth as possible and you need to have the newest version of java and how do you check your java version i'm not talking about your minecraft java i'm talking about the actual java software that lets you run minecraft now see after minecraft 1.16.5 you need a newer version of java to run a server so pretty much if you have an outdated java you need to update it let's say that you have java 7 or java 8 you're gonna need to update it to either java 17 or java 19 how do you check your Java version? Don't worry, just follow along. Go ahead and click where it says type here to search. If you're in Windows 10, if you're in Windows 11, just open your Windows menu and then click on type here to search and then type add or remove programs. And that is going to bring this up. Go ahead and click in there. That is going to bring you to this little menu here where you can see all the apps that you have in your computer. And now you're going to click search this list and you're going to type Java. As you can see, we have the Java development kit 17, meaning that we're good, right? We're good to install the server for Minecraft 1.19.3. But what happens if you have Java 7 or Java 8? Well, don't worry. It's really quite easy to update Java on your computer. Go ahead and delete this. Just click on it and click on install. I'm going to show you how to do it in the process too. Just uninstall this. Once you click on install, it's really easy to get rid of it. Okay, so once you got rid of your older version of Java, either Java 7 or Java 8, go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Java. Now, feel free to read through this guide and look at the screenshots or you could follow along the video, that's up to you. Once you're here, go ahead and click where it says download Java here. That is going to take you to the Java website in here. Just give it a second and you're going to scroll down and you're gonna see that you have Java 19 or Java 17. I'm going to install Java 17 because I have not used Java 19 yet. So I'm going to install Java 17. To do that, just click on Java 17 and then select your platform. In this case, it's Windows. And then once in here, you're going to click X64 installer, this little blue line right here. That is going to start the download automatically. Of course, in my case, it's asking me, but for you, it's just going to download automatically to your downloads folder. Once you have the file, go ahead and drop that file as well onto your desktop if you want to. Just put it in somewhere safe where you can find it. And now we have Java 17 and we have our server file. We could actually start installing stuff finally. Let's go ahead and install Java first in order to run our server file. After you double click on Java, it's going to prompt you with the administrator sign and you have to accept that, okay? It's totally safe. Once you're there, go ahead and click next, next, and then Java is going to start installing. Now, keep in mind that something might happen after you install Java. Let's say that you had Java 7 or you have Java 8. Once you install a newer version of Java, like we're doing now, your jar files, these jar files, 
should be automatically updated. But what happens if they don't? Like for example, look, the installation already finished, so you could go ahead and click on close and you could get rid of the installer. So what happens if this jar file doesn't open when I click on it to open? Well, you just need to run a jar fix. To run a jar fix is a really simple three-step process. You could click on the fourth link in the description and see our guide on how to do that. It's really, really simple. So if your file doesn't open after you install Java, just run a jar fix. Now, once we have our Java installed or updated, and now we have our server file, you're going to right click and create a new folder. And you're going to name this folder whatever you want. This is pretty much kind of the name for your server. And this one is going to be named like, because you're going to like this video right now. Okay, that is the only thing I'm asking in return. So once you have this like folder in there, go ahead and drop your server file into it your jar file server.jar and now open the folder and as you can see we just have the jar file in there go ahead and double click on it and that is going to start extracting stuff it's going to start putting files into the folder as you can see this is the server files and once the ula.txt file appears it's not going to keep putting more files because you have to accept the ula go ahead and open that text node right here go ahead and open it and change the ula to true it says false just change it to true no spaces after just true and then file safe go ahead and close that and now double click on the server jar file again again my name server 1.19.3 George should be named server and if you want to change the name of it it's also fine go ahead and double click on it and as you can see the server starts running for Minecraft. This is actually the Minecraft server console. From here, you could like OP people, you could start, stop the server, you could change everything, right? So if you wanna OP someone, you just type OP and then you put that person's name, like my name is It's Cuba. And that's just an example. Okay, so now we have the server, but how do we join our own server? And also how do we have our friends join? First, I'm going to teach you how to join your own server. What you want to do in order to join your own server is to find out what's your local IP address. In order to do that, just click where it says type here to search. In there, you're going to type command prompt just like that, and you're going to open your command prompt. Once your command prompt opens, you're going to type ipconfig, just like that. ipconfig, go ahead and press enter, and that is going to give you a lot of information regarding your computer, internet settings. But in here, we're just looking for one specific line, and that is the IPv4 address. This little line in here, we're going to copy that last number that shows in there, the 1.8. I mean, it might not be 192 like mine. It might be something different for yours. Just copy that number. I'm going to select it and press Control C. And now we could close the command prompt. Go ahead and open your server folder again. And then in here, right click on server properties and click open with. In here, you could select something like the notes, like right here, you have the notepad. Or if you have any note reader, you could use your preferred note reader. I'm going to use the notepad so you guys could follow along because most of you will have a notepad. Go ahead and open it. And as you can see, we see a lot of information regarding our server here. We're just looking for one line again. And that line is a server IP address. As you can see, we have a server IP address right here. That is the line we're looking for. And in there, we're going to paste our local IP address. As you can see, my IP address is now pasted in there also you can change the settings for the server in here if you want to change something else but you're just looking for your ip address and this is the info that we need to join our own server so what you're going to do is copy your server id again just copy that go ahead and close the notepad actually save it and go ahead and launch your server by double clicking on it that is going to open the server console as you can see it's going to open in a moment and the server is going to start running now once the server is open let's just wait for that to open there we go once the server is open go ahead and launch your minecraft game and as you can see i have a side by side right here of the server and the minecraft game in order to join your server, just click direct connection and you could type localhost. As you can see, I already have localhost in there. You could click join server, but that is not going to work for everybody. Like as you can see for me, it didn't work, but for many of you, it will work. If localhost doesn't work, just go ahead and copy and paste your IP address. Like I told you, your local IP address and then click join server. And that might work for you guys. As you can see, it does work for me. I have to get rid of the x-ray because as you can see, guys, I'm lagging a lot. If you want to learn how to add x-ray to your game, go ahead and check the tutorial that I have. Let me get rid of the x-ray real quick so you guys could see that the server does work perfectly fine. Just so you guys could see, let me get rid of the x-ray. There we go. And as you can see on the right over here, it says players. It says it's me. I have joined. And let's say that you want to OP yourself. You just type OP. It's Cuba. That's my name. Just made yourself an operator. As you can see, I'm an operator in the server. So as you guys can see, that's how you join your own server in Minecraft. But what happens if you want to have your friends join? Well, in order to have your friends join, you have to port forward your server. Port forwarding is a more complicated process, but lucky for you, I have made a video guide on how to do that. And that should be appearing right now somewhere in the screen. So you guys could learn how to port forward your server and have your friends join. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and watch that video so your friends could join you on your server.